hey guys welcome back to my channel and back to another daily vlog i wanted to bring you guys along my day and just have a fun vlog with you guys so it is bright and early in the morning and i'm going to f45 and this is actually my last week of f45 i'm gonna freeze my account just for a few months and take a little break i feel like it'll be good for me especially going into the summer i would much rather prefer to do like outdoor exercises and just like walk frank on long walks or like go play pickleball or do stuff outside instead of like having to go to the gym at a certain time every day so i think that is what i'm going to be doing and it's also going to save me quite a bit of money in the next few months because we all know f45 is so expensive but i'm kind of sad that this is my last week i absolutely love going to f45 i'm sorry if i look like crazy right now the sun's coming in but um yeah i love f45 so it's definitely going to be a little bit hard to not go every day but i literally have so much going on the next two weeks that i don't think i'll even notice it so i am off to a morning class i literally just rolled out of bed i'm exhausted but it is time to get a good workout in and we have a lot to do today and I'm just going to bring you guys along the day. I'm feeling a lot more awake and better. I actually really love getting my workouts done early. I just really, really struggle waking up. So I'm happy it is done. Oh my God, there's a really bad car accident right here. Something happened. What is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I am on my way back home. I'm gonna make myself some tea and have breakfast and shower, obviously, and just kind of get comfy for a little bit and then we have stuff starting a little later today. I just got back in from walking Frank and I showered up really quick, just put on some comfy clothes and now it is time to make breakfast. I think I'm literally just gonna have a bowl of cereal. It's bothering me. Um, I think I'm just gonna have a bowl of cereal and some tea because Matt and I are planning to get some food out later tonight, so I don't wanna eat too heavy in the morning. my green tea is made I just put some stevia in it to sweeten it up I know a lot of people hate that but that is how I sweeten my tea and I drink green tea like twice a day every single day I love it so okay it's quite a bit later I have been sitting out on the porch watching YouTube enjoying the day it's beautiful out today and we have not had a lot of nice weather yet and then Matt and I had a phone call meeting with our rehearsal dinner place. So we got everything set up, like when we can show up, what we could bring, um, all the food and all that. So another thing checked off my list, which is really exciting. And I actually got this box delivered from Amazon, shocker. But I ordered quite a few things for the wedding. I don't know what showed up. But let's open it together. So I ordered a dress. I ordered a dress from Amazon for the rehearsal. And just from the like two seconds that I just saw this, I don't think I'm going to be keeping it. But um, 
I was having such a hard time trying to find a dress. And this is the dress that I ordered. So it actually is cute. It's like long, but the material is like that really slinky type of material. I just don't know. I just don't know if I'm going to like that. So I'll try that on later. But I really like the style. I want it like a more form-fitting tight dress. So if this doesn't like look, it kind of looks kind of ish cute. I don't know. But I'll show you that later. And then I also ordered a really cheap guest book. It came in this cute little box. So look how cute that is. Um, little guest book and our vow book actually. So I really love the packaging. And I think this whole thing was like seven bucks. So if you're interested in like a really, really cheap guest book for your wedding, then I would suggest this. So the, the vow books are actually really cute. They like gold sides. So his and hers guest uh, vow book, two gold pens, and here's the guest book. So just a gold little detailed guest book. And honestly, I'm not someone that wanted to do like a crazy guest book like Jenga or like a big sign that I hung in my house because knowing me like I just wouldn't want that in my house and I just feel like a book an old-fashioned guest book is the best route for me I'm actually like happy with <laughs> the book because I wasn't looking for anything all that crazy it's just like lined pages but I feel like it's cute and for seven bucks I don't know how you can <laughs> find better to be honest because it's all I need and then here are our little bow books his is blue and mine is white I'll just open the one for now but that's what they look like and they also have the gold sides his vows given to blank on so like write the names dates and then they're like really really big lines so you can really space out your words <laughs> I feel like that's like kindergarten type notebooks but I actually think that's perfect just so when you're like reading you don't have to like really concentrate you can just see really big words so I really think that's perfect for seven dollars I'll definitely link it for you guys because I was just one of those people that didn't really care to have a crazy guest book and the pens are really cute um so I just was not gonna spend a lot of money on it and then also yesterday i ordered something else from amazon and it got delivered yesterday and it's this tiny little ring box and it has two little slits in it i feel like everyone uses these ring boxes but they're just for like the flat lay pictures and we can like stick my rings in there obviously my wedding band as well will go in here or matt's wedding band but that type of thing i think it's really cute slowly checking things off my to-do list which is really nice getting really hectic and in like an hour or like 30 minutes we're actually leaving to go get our marriage license which is crazy I just it's just coming so fast we're literally two weeks away now so that is what is on our agenda today we're going it's a little bit far out so we're gonna go and have like a night out in Leesburg so the pick up our marriage license we actually also got a bag of dog food from chewy and it wasn't the right food for frank and they told us to donate it so we're gonna go find the shelter out in leesburg tonight and donate that and then we have just a bunch of wedding errands to run nothing that exciting but honestly life is just crazy right now meetings and errands and craziness so <laughs> that is what we are doing and I have been sitting here talking long enough, so I think I'm actually going to go try this dress on. Okay, so I have the dress on. I want to get your opinions. Don't mind the mess behind me when I put this down. House is not the cleanest right now. But this is the dress, and I actually kind of like it um, more than I was expecting to. I like how long it is and it's like tight, but you can see my spanks, and I do need spanks with this dress. Um, and the only other thing is that, like, obviously this kind of flips up. Especially if I'm going to be using my hands a lot. But I think it's kind of cute and could be a contender if I don't find anything better. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. 
if you like it, if I should keep it, if I should return it. It's from Amazon, so it was super cheap. But if I do return it, I have like two weeks to find a new dress. So that could be difficult for me. Um, but we are about to leave in like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go upstairs and get ready. I'm honestly not gonna do all that much to get ready. But I'm gonna put myself, get myself together a little bit more than I am right now. Okay, I quickly put on a little bit of makeup through my hair in a pony. And we are ready. We are gonna leave in like 15 minutes, but um, we're also gonna try to bring these uh, place cards to Staples and see if they can print names on them for us. Um, if they can't, I have no idea what we're gonna do and probably just gonna have to handwrite them, which is like the last thing in the world that I wanna do. But we tried to print them on like Matt's computer and printer at his house and it just kept jamming the printer. So we were definitely not gonna be able to print it ourselves, which I was hoping we'd be able to do. That's just one of the many things that we have left to do <laughs> um, before this wedding. So I'm going to get all my stuff together and we're gonna be heading out in like 10 minutes. Okay, so we're on our way to the courthouse and Matt has this massive bag of food that we have to bring to the shelter. But I absolutely love how Chewy does that like the customer service is the best and they just want us to donate the food instead of returning it back to their company i think that's awesome so got my little sweatshirt because it's like not that nice out anymore and I'm just gonna have a little night we just got to leesburg and we parked matt just paid for the parking and we're walking to the courthouse now it's like a block Those people just got married. away i know this couple just got married at the courthouse you could tell but going to the courthouse but we're in Leesburg and I like, literally love this little town it's so cute and we come here a lot actually to, like eat and walk around and like have a day but I think we're just gonna grab something like smaller or like faster tonight and grab like Moe's or you guys know I love my Mexican food so I think that's what we're gonna do but hopefully this goes smoothly for us and mm -hmm. I'm realizing this building's really cute they're gonna tell us we're the worst dressed. I know I'm realizing that we're really poorly dressed for this occasion like I really should have thought about this, but oh well. Okay, so I think one of these buildings is the courthouse. Us. Not sure what one. Okay, we just finished at the courthouse, got our marriage license, which is crazy. It was really simple and easy, but there's so much information about like who sends it in and how to change my name and most of the what information happens. was like if you guys decide to get married on a different day, yeah, like, here's it was what like, you have to do. And like, a yeah. bunch of stuff like, there's just like, send this in and you're good. And then yeah. he, he gave you a pamphlet for how to change, how to change name my name. You want to do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be changing my name later in the summer because we just have a lot of stuff planned and I don't want it to complicate our like vacations and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna take the easy route and do it later and then I can get a new passport and all that kind of stuff on my own time. But. Now, our next stop is, I think, Staples, maybe, that's the closest. Kind of go check if they can print our name tags for us. And then we have to go to the animal shelter, get food, and then run to Walmart. So just a ton of errands. <laughs> but this is one big thing checked off of our list, which is really exciting. little update we ate at Moe's and it was a very average but <laughs> I don't know I feel like those places are like never worth it when you can literally go you, to Chili's and you were the one that wanted I wanted Moe's. Moe's because I want it I really always crave Cordoba and that was like the closest thing to Cordoba where we were oh. so no you can't go that way so um we ate at Moe's and I just feel like those places are like way overpriced for what it is but that's okay, it was still a decent dinner. We went to Staples and they cannot print our names on those cards that we bought. So I'm gonna have to like figure out 
plan B for that. We also just went to the shelter, dropped off that food, and it was a really like nice shelter. I've never really been to an animal shelter like that before, and it was nice. Been to an animal shelter at all? I don't think so. I wouldn't know. But um, I've been to the one and it, like in Christian's yeah, and it was really crappy. But it's just like sad to see those doggies. But they were so cute. And there weren't many of them there, which actually made me feel good because I don't want a lot of doggies in the shelter, but they were cute. And now we are headed to Walmart for our next errand. Hopefully we can accomplish that. We just finished at Walmart. I got a bunch of like these long sticky skewer thingies because our venue has a bonfire and that we're gonna do like a s'mores bar type of thing. So I got a bunch of sticks for that. I also picked up more Dramamine for our like plane trip. I just wanna make sure I have everything like early in advance so I'm not like scrambling last minute. And then the last thing we did, which was like the whole reason we went, is that we ordered our wedding cake from Walmart. So they actually make like custom cakes and they, they were the only place that I found that did custom cakes like at a grocery store or something like that, that did like tiered cake. So, if you are looking for a very inexpensive tiered cake, I suggest Walmart. It was 68 bucks for a two tier cake, and that is like unheard of. When I was looking at actual bakeries, it was like $400 for a two tier cake like that. And that is just somewhere I personally really wanna save some money because we're doing a dessert table, we're doing the s'mores bar, and honestly, I feel like people don't really care all that much about cake anymore. So we are just doing like an all white cake and they let you pick like your borders you wanna do and all that kind of stuff. So we just did like an all white cake with fun little borders and like the horizontal, um, like, what's it called, horizontal? Lines. Horizontal lines, <laughs> that <laughs> is the word. Called? Yeah, so that's what we did. And we have a cake topper that says Mr. and Mrs. Christ and we're putting flowers from our florist in the cake. So it's gonna look like a really nice cake for under 70 bucks. So I feel like that is a win. And that was, we were in there for like an hour cause it was kind of like long time going through all the options with the cake lady. I feel like my vlogs are like 100% car vlogs now. So I'm sorry if you don't enjoy that, but I feel like that is just the easiest time to sit and talk to a camera. Matt is walking Frank over there. I see my butt, buddy. Okay, I'm like so distracted. Um, Matt was completely over our shopping day and I don't blame him. We've been out for like three hours and we did get a lot done, but I wanted to run out and see if I can return those place cards to Target. I bought them like a really long time ago, so I have no idea what the return policy is like, but I figured I'll try and see if I can return them. And if I can, that's awesome. If I can't, I guess I'm gonna have to handwrite them, which kind of sucks, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm actually gonna just grab myself a soda, go to Target. I probably will like walk around and like explore a little too, because you know, I'm by myself and Matt can't rush me out of stores because he's tired, even though he did nothing today. Thank, Thank you. you. Got the goods. My favorite thing. Favorite part of the day is getting a Diet Coke. Okay, I got home a little bit ago and we're actually about to end our night watching an episode of Ozark. We're watching like that second half of the last season and we're like four episodes in. So watching another episode tonight. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for coming along another day in my life. I love vlogging and I hope you guys enjoy the vlogs. <laughs> if there's anything else that you would like to see, let me know down in the comments and I'd be happy to make those videos and all that kind of stuff. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and like the video, hit that notification bell. It all really helps out the channel. And I'm hoping to be at 2,000 subscribers soon. So um, make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.